All right, this is the example on slide 30 of our chapter 14 PowerPoint. And here, hopefully you've read through the slides and have at least sort of a basic understanding of acid conjugate base and base conjugate acid concept. So in that process, we introduced a new definition of acids and bases. Um, an acid, according to what's called the Bronsted-Lowry definition, acid equals a hydrogen ion donor, meaning it gives away hydrogen ions in solution, and a base is something that accepts hydrogen ions, so it's an H plus acceptor. Um, so when we introduced this concept, we also introduced the concept of an acid and its conjugate base, and a base and its conjugate acid. And between these pairs, the only difference is a hydrogen ion. So to do this example, first it's asking us what the conjugate base of H2CO3 is. So if H2CO3 um, has a conjugate base, that means it's first acting as an acid. So when that happens, it gives away a hydrogen ion. So H2CO3 becomes HCO3 minus. And the reason that we have that minus there is remember that hydrogen ions have a plus charge. So if I take one of those away, that is losing a positive charge, which means my compound becomes negatively charged. So in this case, this H2CO3 carbonic acid is my acid. And when it gives away a proton, when it donates a proton, it becomes the conjugate base. And so the answer for this question, the conjugate base, is HCO3 minus. For the second guy, it's asking what the conjugate acid is of the NO2 minus or nitrite ion. So that means in this case, nitrite is first acting oops, as a base. And so when that happens, that means that um, HNO2- minus accepts a proton, because remember our new definition is that bases accept H plus ions. So when it accepts a proton or hydrogen ion, it becomes HNO2. And that negative charge goes away because remember, H plus ions have a positive one charge. So in this case, we're starting off with a base and we're ending with the conjugate acid. So anytime you have an acid, it's gonna form its conjugate base. And anytime you have a base, it's gonna form its conjugate acid. 